<sighs> well, <clears throat> I just had um, a picture sent to me uh, from Teacher Shane showing that, and I just got finished talking about this on Facebook Live, where a 10-pound, um, um, what do they call it, a, um, a loaf or a bundle? Or what do they call them things they put them in? When we buy them from Sam's, the hamburger meat. Oh, um, roll. I'll just say a roll, a 10 pound roll of hamburger meat, $63 and 84 cents. And that's 80%. I remember years ago when we used to go to Sam's and buy hamburger meat, it was, um, $32. I believe it was for 90%. Is that about right? Yeah. 90% beef. And that's 90%. Um, and sometime, then one the time we were buying it for $28 or something like that, depending on the price yeah. of meat. And uh, <clears throat> and what it is is that um, meat or beef is going up to seven dollars a pound, and that's ridiculous. That's off the chain. I'm so glad we got cows out here. I'm telling you, I'm just so glad I can just go walk up to the top of the hill, pop one, butcher it, um, you go first field dress it, let it bleed out, butcher it, hang it up in our freezer, and we good. And it's just, but it's, you know, all across America, you can see that there is, um, what they call it, they, they, they um, are forcing the farmers because the farmers don't get their government check, government check, if they continue to keep growing crops and can't continue to keep raising beef. They're, they're killing so much beef and so much chicken, so much cattle right now, and they're plowing under so much food, and, and people are literally starving all across America, henceforth, I eat what I've always said. For years, what I've always said, don't you ever, ever get into the position where you have to be dependent upon this system in any way, shape, fashion, or form. And that's why I said before, those who used to call me a cult leader and all this other stuff, they're having second thoughts and guesses now because now I look like a prophet. Because I've been doing this for years. I've been telling people, grow your own food. I've been telling people, raise your own cattle. I've been telling people, get your own land. I've been telling people, don't don't be, become dependent upon the government. Uh, when you do move out into the country, build your own home and don't do it to where you have to incur a mortgage. Uh, make sure you get a cast iron wood stove in there so that way in the wintertime that you can stay warm. Go back to old wood heating if you have to. Because I still, to this day, heat our home with wood. Now, I've got a couple of little portable electric heaters uh, shift around from room to room, but our primary source of heat is wood. In other words, with the way that things are going in this world, get back to the old landmarks, the old paths, and the old ways. Uh, because if you've got to stand in FEMA camp lines, if you got to stand in food lines, boy, I tell you, now you've done position yourself to where you're at their beck and call. And ain't a damn thing you can do about it from that point because you did not prepare.